Shalom Chavrim, I'm Steve Benoon, you're watching Israeli News Live. We have breaking news again, this time coming out of Tripoli. And as the title of the video says here, U.S. forces have joined with the GNA uh, there in, in Tripoli. This, of course, is the government that is recognized by the United Nations. Uh, of course, it is a puppet gov government, as we already know, uh, back under the Obama administration, the toppling of the uh, Muammar Gaddafi of this country here, then this puppet government was put in. Uh, Haftar is working to overthrow now this government that the U.S. backed to put in in the fall of uh, the Libyan country there. A uh, very sad situation that happened uh, quite a few years back. Uh, everybody knows about the story of Benghazi. But once again, the U.S. has boots on the ground. Uh, and from what we can tell, it is American soldiers. So I, I guess I should say alleged. But uh, we have some very interesting source that we're going to share with you from, uh, from that area. First, quickly, let me share with you Al Jazeera is reporting uh, that the Libyan GNA forces repel Haftar's offensive and retake Tripoli suburb. Uh, that was just after it looks like Amman News, AMN, uh, was reporting that Haftar-led Libyan army captures a key area en route to Tripoli. But uh, as we have here on Al Jazeera, the GNA forces uh, have repelled that advance. Well, they're not doing it just by themselves, though. They do have uh, what appears to be either contract forces fighting there in uh, Libya with them or either U.S. forces. And that's right here on the, uh, the site here called LNA uh, SPOX, uh, the Twitter account here. Uh, we follow this channel here. Let me just play for you. Uh, and this is how you can kind of get a little bit of idea what's going on. There's seven videos that were posted here. Uh, you can see clearly, and that's why I think it may be contract forces there fighting with the GNA in uh, Tripoli. But nonetheless, U.S. forces there. I want you to listen closely as I play this because it is obvious that uh, we have American accents in the video here. This is definitely not a situation of uh, foreign fight. You know, when they say foreign fighters, it's not a situation of European or British forces. Listen to the video. And here are the, the, the bombs and stuff, small, like maybe a little bit of uh, grenades or whatever popping outside. You also have the Arabic in the background. It's kind of interesting to see there, of course, it's buffering still yet on some of the videos there. Let me take you to some more of the videos here that have been uh, posted on here. And again, this is the fighting that is going on in Tripoli. It is U.S. forces or special operations. And again, uh, more than likely contract uh, forces that are fighting there along with the GNA forces there in uh, uh, to repel Haftar's advance there and to keep uh, the U.S. assets in uh, power uh, that, were, that were there before. We'll listen into this video right here. <laughs> I'm 
Just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on. So from what we can see, we do have U.S. forces there uh, working in Libya right now with this battle that has been going on now for several weeks here. Also, another thing that is going on in Russia, it is a massive fire raging at a ballistic missile plant in Russia. The accident does not involve shops where Samat uh, Seneb missiles are produced, the report says. But the massive fire was, <clears throat> has broken out at the uh, Krasnoyarsk plant, which manufactures ballistic missiles for the Russian army. The blaze extended 24,000 square meters. The emergency services reported, according to TASS, Russian news agency. They also said that the uh, fire was caused by an electrical short in the plant. Uh, at least that's the latest news we're getting on that. Uh, a couple other things I want to bring to your attention real quick, guys. Uh, Yana did the interview with Dr. Day just the other day. That, that video uh, has been pretty much blocked. Uh, sequestered, whatever you want to call it. Friends have been writing us that they cannot share the video. Uh, it's really become a major issue. Uh, this is the video right here. I'm pulling it up for you. Uh, it's only got about uh, the following content has been identified by the YouTube community as inappropriate or offensive to some audiences. I understand and wish to proceed. You have to click on that. That's even on my own channel that this has to happen. We're going to remove the video from our channel there. So I wanted you to be able to see that. Uh, you know, and because of this issue, uh, we have done that. But uh, I want you to be aware, though, it is does not mean that you cannot see the video. Uh, and I think that is the important thing that, that we need to make sure that our, our listeners are able to know about. Uh, we have placed this on Patreon. Uh, but it was not our desire for this to happen. And again, uh, I'm removing this video now because of that situation. They have, well, actually, it's already gotten 6,000 views. I'll leave it up there for right now so some people are still able to watch it there. We did move the video. If you're wanting to share it, uh, try going to Stephen Benun, B E N N U N, and that's Stephen, S T E V E N, on Vimo. That is our account there. Uh, you can see it. It's also Patreon, how we load it there on Patreon. We will leave it available up there uh, a few days for you guys to be able to see that. But if you just type in Vimo and then go to Stephen Benoon, uh, you'll actually see the video there. Uh, I think you have to go through, uh, for me, I just go to my videos when I'm looking at it there. But we did upload that video there. It's right there. The untold truth everyone should hear. And we kind of wonder if maybe it wasn't our title that caused that to be red flagged. But it's there. It's to the public. We want you to be able to see this. We want you to be able to share it. Uh, I only ask you, though, when you share it, don't mention anything about Noah and these supposed laws that he gave that he never gave. Um, that might be of a help when you share it. Uh, so, you know, we want, it, we want it to be shared, but unfortunately, we have been flagged on this video here, and uh, no doubt some of the rivals out there that hate the truth are coming out with those issues there. Speaking of the truth that was being told in there, this book right here, I want you to be able to see this book here. My wife, Jan, is going to be taking you through this very soon called Kabbalah, A Mediation for the Nations. This may end up being one of the very books. Uh, it's written by Harav Yitzhak Ginsburg. This will probably become one of those school books uh, for, for the kids in school. You know how Trump is talking about putting the, the, the Bible back in school. No, I think they're going to be getting what they consider the Torah Talmudic teachings coming back in school. But let me just read to you here. Uh, this is from page 120. It states here, a large page 120 and 121. It's a part of chapter 4, A Spiritual Path for B'nai Noach, the children of Noah. This is your spiritual path, right? Watch what he writes here. A large portion of the non-Jewish world worships an individual Jew whom it calls the Son of God. Now they're talking about, he's talking about Jesus, Yeshua, right? 
So I'll read it again. A large portion of the non-Jewish world worships an individual Jew whom it calls the Son of God. Now, notice he calls him a Jew. He's calling Jesus a Jew. Remember, the, especially my evangelical brothers, you're being duped when they're trying to tell you that Jesus, or even the Hebrew Roots Movement, my brothers there and sisters there as well, you're being duped when they're saying that Jesus was a Jew and trying to bring you back into that, that realm. They don't deny that he was a Jew. But watch what he says. The non-Jewish world must come to recognize that all Jews are sons of God. B'nai Noach must strive to help the Jews fulfill their purpose on earth, not by worshiping them as one worships God, but by realizing that complete and sincere service of God entails the continual readiness to serve and come to aid of his people Israel and bringing redemption to the world. Only then will the true Messiah be revealed. All right. So you can see for yourself, I didn't make it up. Pause the video, watch it for yourself. That's only the tip of the iceberg. You know, I think of Jesus when he says, Yeshua makes this amazing statement that the, that the weeds would be gathered together. They'll be bound in the tares, be bound together. And the wheat will go to the garner. What's happening right now, friends, in the world today, we are seeing major leaders, supposed to be Christians, they're binding together the tares in the group that supports or become apologists for the Talmudic laws and Talmudic traditions. This, these so-called laws of Noah are one of those binding mechanisms. I think we're coming to the time where we truly need to come out of her, my people. Revelation chapter, uh, what was it? Chapter 8, verse 4, I believe it is. Come out of her, my people, and be not partakers of her sins. We are truly in an age like no other age, friends. And the dangers and the time of the beheading of the Christians <clears throat> that truly stand for Christ, that hour is now. If there's ever a time you're going to support some the ministries that are truly telling you the truth, this is the time to support them. Because that time is very short. And we're creating a new website, by the way specifically for the information that we've been sharing on the Steve and Yana chats. We're going to even create a separate YouTube channel just for that, so that back here on Israeli News Live, we can stay focused on news and prophetic insights for you because we're being targeted. You see that for yourself right here. The following content has been identified by the YouTube community as inappropriate or offensive to some audiences. I think we've been turned in. What do you think? Listen, stand with truth. You believe the truth. Stand with the truth. Support those ministries that are telling you the truth. We got a very special guest coming on Sunday, and we have a special guest coming on next week as well. I'm not even going to tell you who they are. It's going to be a surprise to you, but a blessing, no doubt. Uh, we always like to do the little surprises there. Keeps the rest of the world guessing, especially the enemy. Never let the devil know what you're doing. I'm Steve Benoom with Israeli News Live. Shalom and Arif Tov. Good evening. And Shabbat Shalom for those here on Shabbat evening.